All right, so we're looking at the ladder use question today. And what this question wanted us to do is to solve for how high <coughs> up the wall we can have a ladder standing. So we have our ladders down here represented by the red, the green, and the blue line. And what we want to find is how high up on this wall they're going to lie. So the question gave us some key information, and that was that the first thing is that it can be no closer, so no closer than a quarter of its length. So if it's 3.2 meters long, we know that a quarter of that will be 0 0.8 meters. And that is represented here by the red line. So that will be 0 0.8 meters down here. And it also told us that it can be no further away from the wall than half of its length. Than half. And so we know that that will be 1.6 meters, which is represented by the blue line. And the question asks us for three heights that it can sit on the wall. And so what I've done is I've added the green line here, and that just represents for me, it could have been any different, any distance in between 0 0.8 and 1.6. I chose to just go halfway. So I chose the halfway point in between 0 0.8 and 1.6, and that is 1.2 meters. So now that we've got this, we can start to solve for how high it'll sit on the wall. And so using Pythagoras' theorem, we can find this. And so we know that that is going to be a, uh, sorry, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now we know that c squared in this equation represents the hypotenuse, our longest length. So that'll be whatever is opposite of our right angle. And so that's always going to be 3.2 in this question. So we've got 3.2 metres squared, which equals a squared um, can be our 0 0.8 down the bottom metres squared plus our b squared value. So solving this, we get 10.24 uh, metres equals 0 0.64 metres plus our b squared value, which we're solving for. Now taking 0 0.64 away from 10.24, we're going to get 9.6 and so we have b squared is equal to 9.6 meters. Now to solve for b we just take the square root which will be 9.6 meters square root and so b will equal uh, 3.1 meters. Good. So now we can move on and we can do the next one. So looking at the distance 1.2 meters away so again we're looking at our c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Again, this is always going to be our 3.2 meters squared, which equals uh, 1.2 for this one, plus our b squared value. Solving for these, we get 10.24 again, and then we get our 1.44 meters for this one, plus our b squared again. Now solving for that, we will get 8.8 uh, meters here, which equals our b squared value. And now solving for b, what we will do is we'll come over here and we'll go b equals the square root of 8.8 .8 meters, which will be solved for 2.96 meters. Good. And now we can do the same with our final one, which will be at 1.6 meters. So again, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Going through it a bit quicker now, we'll have 3.2 meters squared, which will equal 1.6 meters plus our b squared value. 10.24 as it has been the entire time. 1.6 squared, that'll become 2.56 meters plus b squared. And solving for that, we will get our b squared value will be equal to 7.68. And then we continue on to B, which will equal the square root of that. And B will be equal to 2.7 meters. Now, looking at this, one quick way that we can check it is that we know, if you're just looking here at the example I've drawn, we know that 3.1 meters, good. And that one is a hit at the top. If it's closer, it's going to hit on that on a higher, on a tighter angle, and it's going to fall higher. 
So we can check really quickly just to make sure logically that we've got the right answers. So 3.1, that looks about right. 2.96, again, it's in between the red and the blue lines there of those ladders, and 2.7, the lowest down here, which makes sense. So good, and what we do probably lastly for this question is we just write a brief statement that um, with a length of 0 0.8 meters away from the wall or a distance, um, the ladder will go 3.1 meters high. At a distance of 1.2 meters away from the wall, the ladder will fall 2.96 meters up the wall. And if the ladder is at its uh, furthest distance, it's allowed at 1.6 meters, it'll be 2.7 meters high. And that's, the, that's probably all that we'd expect. It's asking students to be able to use this equation of Pythagoras' theorem and manipulate it to get their answer.